All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you, parents, for joining us today to celebrate your students along with us. One of our goals um, for our way forward, which is the district's comprehensive school improvement plan for Crestview, is to make it a safe and welcoming place for everyone. And one of the ways we are addressing this is by celebrating our students on a monthly basis as opposed to semesterly as we've done in the past. This just allows us to do it more frequently and to recognize way more students. Um, this year we created these leader expectations which we've shared with our students since the beginning of the school year. Um, and these are the things that we have for all of our students that as a leader they would lift others up, engage fully, accept responsibility, develop and maintain goals, empathize with others and serve others and their community. So this month we're just focusing on and we ask our teachers to give us names of students who are accepting responsibility. So our grade level teams and elective areas have selected these students that are meeting this expectation. Um, though we expect all of our students to meet these expectations, however our staff have noticed that these students stand out among their peers. So please join me in recognizing our wonderful students. So students, I'm gonna call you up by your name. I got a, a short little thing to, to read about you. So as soon as I say your name, you can begin to come up to meet me. Um, just some logistics, you're gonna walk across the row, okay? And then come up to this side of the podium. I will step out and shake your right hand and you'll take the certificate with your left and then you'll go back to your seat, okay? Um, and we'll pause long enough for you guys to get your picture. So I'm going to start with kind of a unique scenario because the teacher um, recognized two students um, for the exact same reason. So Emily Ingram and Lauren Schubert, you can both come up first. So um, Mr. Harris in the, in the STEM, our business program, say that they accept responsibility in the course. They've taken on what has been learning in their class and applied it to the real world by starting up a business um, with each other. They've been running a small cosmetic product and jewelry business for a few months now, selling their product online and in person. I'm modeling one of their bracelets right here for um, Candy Cane Day. So welcome Emily Ingram and Lauren Schuert. Delina Marocha. Delina works hard in class and completes all of her work. She is willing to step up and take risk in positions such as the morning announcements, takes initiative in her work, and will rework assignments if she needs to. So our sixth blue team has recognized her. Kevin Lowe. Kevin Lowe. Kevin is a great leader in class. He exemplifies a model student for his behavior, work ethic, attitude, and character. He's always willing to help other students and challenge them to do their best. Congratulations, Kevin. <laughs> Keely Roth. Keely is the first student. Oh, that one's Keely. We'll wait. Kyle Stephan. Kyle is very attentive. His assignments are always turned in. He's very personable, but he also sets the tone for what is acceptable behavior in class. Overall, he's a great kid and would do anything to help others, so six gold is recognized. Kyle. Arvani Washington. Arvani, she is always responsible for her project, materials, and the sewing portion of facts class. She also helps other students with their projects without having to be told who to help, as well as making sure all the machines are cleaned up and put away correctly at the end of each class period. She's been recognized by our elective team. Congratulations. <laughs> Katalina Pratt. Katta is very organized, takes responsibility for her actions and classwork. She's always involved in class and takes on any task that is presented. So Six Silver has recognized her. <laughs> Adeline Blanner. Adeline takes responsibility of her learning and makes sure to stay on top of her work even when she is absent from our Six Silver team.
Thanks to Pondi. Thanks to work very hard and we always appreciate her personal responsibility and determination. She never tackles a task with less than 100% and challenges herself to be better. She is also kind, courteous, and is always prepared. Seven Blue is recognizing diction. Andrew Kennedy, Drew exemplifies all the character traits we hope to see in a student. He's always focused and on task, works hard to achieve his best. He shows great responsibility by checking his work and being prompt with turning his, and turning in his assignments. Congratulations, Andrew. <laughs> Dylan Source, on one of the field trips, he was an excellent leader, showed model citizenship and kindness. He's being recognized from our arts and theater tech departments. <laughs> Yuvon Kira. Yuvon accepts responsibility for both his learning and the classroom climate on a daily basis. So seven goals, it's recognized him. Congratulations. <laughs> Haley Hoffman. Haley does an amazing job of creating a plan whenever she misses work in class. Always finds a way to be academically successful. So seven gold is recognized Haley. <laughs> Brooklyn Merker. Brooklyn does an amazing job of accepting responsibilities for her academics and behavior. She was also taking on the responsibility for leading the environmental club and makes Crespi a better place. Seven silver is recognized for both. <laughs> Jacob Kaiser. Jacob does an outstanding job of taking responsibility of his learning and behavior. He is a great student at Crespi. We love having him in class from our seven silver team. Angelie Bricker. Angelie models excellent behavior. Our classroom behavior always completes assignments on time with great, well, with great effort. She's recognized by our foreign language department. <laughs> Evan Brueggemann. Evan demonstrates responsibility by communicating effectively with his teachers. This skill ensures his work and assessments are completed regardless of his busy schedule. He's matured beyond a typical eighth grader in his organizational ability and his responsibility and respect for students and teachers alike. Added to a positive classroom dynamic. Congratulations, Evan. Talia Merritt. Talia exemplifies leadership qualities and how she takes responsibility for herself and others. In addition to her exemplary time management skills and work ethic, her kind and caring demeanor contributes to a classroom environment where everyone feels supported from Ape Blue. Congratulations. <laughs> Mila Mueller. In the classroom, Mila is a role model student who works hard and accepts responsibility. She is intrinsically motivated, engaged in her learning, as well as helpful with her peers. From Ape Gold, congratulations. Shreyas Iyer. Shreyas is a natural leader. He's always very willing to step up and take on new opportunities. He accepts responsibilities both inside the classroom and outside in extracurricular activities. He participates, engages in class with respectful and positive attitude. From eight gold, congratulations, Shreyas. <laughs> Kate Byron. Kate Miles exec excellent classroom behavior and always completes assignments on time and with great effort. She's also recognized by our foreign language department. <laughs> Abigail Clark. Whenever Abigail is unable to be in class, she advocates for herself and makes sure she's up to date on her assignments. She's always on task and polite when asking questions. She is very responsible and kind. From our eight silver team, congratulations, Abigail. Nathan Timulitis. 
Nathan advocates for himself regularly. He is patient and kind. He is very agreeable and makes compromises with others when navigating challenges. He is also recognized by our eight silver team. Jordan Farmer. Jordan is very helpful in class. She is willing to work with anyone and teach them. She is inclusive of all students and she's being recognized by our art and theater elective team. And finally, Keely Roth. Keely is the first student to help anyone, whether it's teachers or students. She emails for help when needed, has all of her assignments in on time. She takes notes, even when they're not required. She goes above and beyond when, beyond what is required. Congratulations, Keely. <laughs> Families, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate you taking the time out of your day to celebrate with us. We have so many excellent students at Crestview, and it's important that we take a break um, from all of our busy schedules and the stress in our days to see the good that we have around us. Um, and your children appreciate you being here as well. So uh, before we dismiss, we do have some donuts and coffee available. You're welcome to stay here and um, mingle with your, your student for a little bit. Families, we also have a sign that you can take home and, and put in your yard and keep it there for a month. And we just ask that you bring it back in January so we can use them again. So uh, if you wouldn't mind, just make sure you check in with one of our hall monitors and they can get you one on the way out the door today. So thanks again for being here and let's give our students one more round of applause. <laughs> Students, when you're done, you can choose that pass is your return back to class, but you guys get to go first, go get a donut. <laughs> <laughs>